Welcome back. We shall continue our reading, our Bible reading from Genesis chapter 11 to chapter 15. This is the third day's video. Short in one day. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. The last time we were reading about the descendants of Noah and how the flood water covered all the earth and the Lord destroyed humans and the Lord destroyed the earth. The Lord was sorry that he made humans because humans were evil. So flood water came, carried all the humans, carried everything on the earth and destroyed it. And we also talked about the generation of Noah and how God made a covenant with Noah not to use water to destroy earth again. So now we are going to start reading from chapter 11, the Tower of Babel. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the, in the land of Shina, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had bricks for they had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do now. Now, nothing that they propose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and therefore confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there, over the face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the earth. And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood. And after he begot Arphaxad, Shem lived 500 years and begot sons and daughters. Arphaxad lived 35 years and begot Salah. After he begot Salah, Arphaxad lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Salah lived 30 years and begot Eber. After he begot Eber, Salah lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Eber lived 34 years and begot Peleg. After he begot Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and begot sons and daughters. Peleg lived 30 years and begot real. After he begot real, Peleg lived 209 years and begot sons and daughters. Real lived 32 years and begot Serug. After he begot Serug, Real lived 207 years and begot sons and daughters. Serug lived 30 years and begot now. After he begot now, Serug lived 200 years and begot sons and daughters. Now lived 29 years and he begot there, and after he begot there, now lived 119 years and begot sons and daughters. Now Terah lived 70 years and begot Abram, Nahor, and Aaron. This is the generation, this is the genealogy of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Nahor, and Aaron. Aaron begot Lot, and Aaron died before his father Terah in his native in his native land in the Ur of the Chargians. Then Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Aaron, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren, she had no child, and Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, the son of Aaron, and his daughter, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and they went out with them from all of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. 
and they came to Aran and dwelt there. So the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Aram. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get, get out. Chapter 12 now. Now the Lord had said to Abram, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. And I will make you a great nation. I will bless you, and make your name great, and, your, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will cause those who curse you, and in you all the families of all the earth shall be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abram, and Abram was seventy-five years old when he departed from Aram. Then Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people whom they had acquired in Aram, and they departed to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land of the place. Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, as far as the terebinth tree of Mori. And the Canaanites were there, were then in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. And there he built an altar to the Lord, who had appeared to him. And he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel, and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west. And I on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. So Abram joined, going on still toward the south. Now there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt to dwell there, for the famine was severe in the land. And it came to pass, when he was close to entering Egypt, that he said to his to Sarah his wife, Indeed, I know that you are a beautiful that you are a woman of beautiful countenance. Therefore, it will happen when the Egyptians see you, that they will say, This is his wife, and they will kill me, but they will let you live. Please say you are my sister, that it may be well with me for your sake, and that I may live because of you. So it was when Abram came into Egypt that the Egyptians saw the woman, that she was very beautiful. The princess of Pharaoh, is it Phil? <laughs> the princes of Pharaoh also saw her and commended her to Pharaoh, and the woman was taken to Pharaoh's house. He treated Abram well for her sake. He had sheep, oxen, male donkeys, male and female servants, female donkeys and camels. But the Lord plagued Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarah, Abram's wife. And Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this you have done to me? Why did you not tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister? I might have taken her as my wife. Now therefore, here is your wife. Take her and go your way. So Pharaoh commanded his men concerning him. And they sent him away with his wife and all that he had. Chapter 13 Abraham inherits Canaan Then Abraham went up from Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and lot with him to the south. Abraham was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold, and he went on his journey from the south as far as Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the altar which he had made there at first. Then Abraham called on the name of the Lord. Lot also, who went with Abraham, had flocks and herds and tents. Now the land was not able to support them that they might dwell together, for their possessions were so great that they, that they could not dwell together. And there was strife between the earthsmen of Abram's livestock and the earthsmen of Lord's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. The Canaanites and the Perizzites then dwelt in the land. So Abram said to Lot, Please let there be no strife between you and me. And between my earthmen and your earthmen, for we are brethren, is not the whole land before you. Please separate from me. If you take the left, then I will go to the right. Or if you go to the right, then I will go to the left. And Lord lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere. Before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of 
Egypt as you go towards Zohar. Then Lot chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separated from each other. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. And the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot had separated from him, Lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are, northward, southward, eastward, and westward, for all the land which you see I give to you and your descendants forever. And I will make your descendants as the dust of the earth, so that if a man could number the dust of the earth, then your descendants also could be numbered. Arise, walk in the land, through its length and its width, for I give it to you. Then Abraham moved his tent and went and dwelt by the terebinth tree of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. Chapter 14 Lord's Captivity and Rescue. And it came to pass in the days of Amravel, king of Shina, Ariok, king of Elazar, Chedolama, king of Elam, and Tida, king of nations. That they may that they made war with Bera, king of Sodom, Brasha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Adma, Shemeba, king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar. All these joined together in the valley of Sidim, that is the Salt Sea. Twelve years they served Chedolama, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedolau. Ma and the kings that were with him came and attacked the ravine in Asteroth, Canaan, the Zuzim in Am, the Emim in Shave, in Shave, Kiriatai, <laughs> and the Orites in the mountain of Ser, as far as El Paran, which is by the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to an and came to En Mishfat, that is Kadesh and attacked all the country of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites, who dwelt in Azazon, Tamar, and the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar, went out and joined together in battle in the valley of Sidim against Chedolama, king of Elam, Tidal, king of nations, Amavel, king of Shina, and Ariok, king of Elazar, four kings against five. Now the valley of Sidon was full of asphalt pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled. Some fell there, and the remainder fled to the mountains. Then they took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, Abraham's brother's son, who dwelt in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one who had escaped came and told Abraham the Hebrew, for he dwelt by the terebinth trees of Mamre the Amorite brother of Eskol and brother of Anna, and they were allies with Abraham. Now when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his 318 trained servants who were born in his, in his own house and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his, force, or he divided his forces against them by night, and he and his servants attacked them and pursued them as far as Oba, which is north of Damascus. So he brought back all the goods, and also brought back his brother Lot and his goods, as well as the women and the people. And the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Shafi, that is the king's valley. And his, and after his return from the defeat of Chedolama and the kings who were with him, then Melchizedek king of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God most high. And he blessed them, and he blessed him, and said, Blessed be Abraham of God most high, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him a tithe of all. Now the king of Sodom said to Abraham, Give me the persons and take the goods for yourself. But Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I have raised my hand to the Lord. God must I, the possessor of heaven and earth, 
that I will take nothing from a thread to a sander strap, and that I will not take anything that is yours, lest you say I have made Abraham rich. Except only what the young men have eaten, and the portion of the men who went with me, Anna, Eskol, and Mamre. Let them take their portion. Chapter 15. The Viner, the final chapter for this five chapter series. God's covenant with Abraham. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham, I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me? Saying, I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one did you come from your own body shall be your heir. Then he brought him outside and said, Look now toward heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. Then he said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of all of the Chaldeans to give you this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, how shall I know that I will inherit it? And so he said to him, Bring me a three-year-old Ipha and three-year-old female goat and three-year-old ram, a turtle dove and a young pigeon. Then he brought all this to him and cut them into down the middle and placed each piece opposite the other. But it did not cut the beds in two. And when the fortress came down on the carcasses, Abraham drove them away. Now when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abraham, and behold, horror and great darkness fell upon him. Then he said to Abraham, Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land that is not theirs, and will serve them, and they will afflict them four hundred years, and also the nation whom they serve I will judge. Afterward they shall come out with great possess with great possessions. Now as for you, you shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at a good old age, but in the fourth generation they shall return here. For the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. And it came to pass, when the sun went down and it was dark, that behold, there appeared a smoking a smoking oven and a burning torch that passed between those pieces. On the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, To your descendants I have given this land from the river of Egypt to the great rivers, the river Euphrates, the Kenite, the Kenesite, the Cadmonite, the Ethite, the Perisite, the Ravine, and the Ravine, the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Gigashite, and the Jebusite. Now we've come to the end of today's reading. The end of Thursday's reading. Bless God. Thanks for watching. If you watch this video to the end, if you were not bored, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bless you.